Braves, you've got the two strikers up there, Davis, and number 32, Stephen Midlick. And the defenders right now appear to be uh, back deep. Pastor, Cregan, Damage, and B.J. Malloy. We're awaiting a couple of the ball boys to get to the other side. As we said, Fran Lemansky, 13 years with the program, Joseph Michniak. Very skilled and very versed in the game of soccer. Uh, played a lot of European soccer and uh, played the adult league down here. And he is the assistant. So here we go. LH, Dieter Davis with the back kick. Gets it to Palermo. Palermo advancing it. Here's Pickens. Pickens looking left wing. Midlick retreats. Gets it up ahead. Here comes Clymer. He's on the break up the left wing. Good run started. LH with a nice little touch pass ahead. Tries to two and do get it to Dieter Davis on the left side. Davis working to Pickens. Pickens miss, missed it. Get it out inside. A nice clear there by Bell Vernon. A long run down the right side. And here comes LH retreating to get back on it. Good play right there. That's Colin Monahan. Move it through the middle to Pickens. Left side with it now. There's Kalen Polito. Polito on the right wing. And this one is saved nicely by Pickens. Goes off of number 11, B.J. Malilli. Malilli retreating back. LH working hard with it. Here's Dieter. Dieter uh, moves it up ahead. It's taken away. Nice play here by Mike Sedor, the striker. Sedor moving it up ahead. Gets it now. Ahead right here to Matt Long. Up ahead and uh, good job by Palermo to clear it away. Bell Vernon's got two fine strikers in uh, Mike Sedor and Dave Sedor. And they move it up ahead now. With it, that's Matt Long, the sophomore. Lost it. Retreating back after it. Good work by Bell Vernon as they try and control. And this one will go off of Keith Reback out of play. 38-33 to go. There is uh, no score. LH and Bell Vernon. First soccer game of 10 that we will bring you this year. Long run up the right side. Davis trying to get to it. Can't get uh, quite there. Mike Cregan bumps him off of it. But LH will get the uh, throw in on the side. No, they're going to say it goes the other way. So Bell Vernon will uh, do the honors. Want to thank uh, Joseph's Body Shop uh, for helping sponsor tonight's game. We'll get some more information on them. Also want to thank uh, Vic Viano from uh, Raymond James Financial Services of Uniontown. Had a nice chat with Vic earlier tonight. He's helping also sponsor tonight's game. LH attacking Polito to Pickens. Pickens in all oh, offside, I believe. LH getting it in. Davis was in alone but just a step offside, so this one will go over to Bell Vernon. No score as we go to the 37-40 mark. Barry Rosner over here to our left is always handling the PA for Laurel Highlands. Good play here by LH as uh, moving on up that left side. That was Eric Radcliffe out in front, and good job by the keeper, Jim Fowler, as Midlick was closing. LH has controlled the action so far. Get it uh, right side with it. That's Colin Monahan. Get it to Polito. Polito with a nice little run. Has a man in the middle. Tries to get it to him. Good poke uh, check away. And out of there. Good job by Bell Vernon. I think it was Mike Cregan, number 19, that did the honors. LH now with the sideline throw in. Get it from Eric Radcliffe. He gets it back. Revac can't connect. Goes far side and chasing down after. That's Adam Clymer. Intercepted. Here comes Bell Vernon on a nice long run. I think this might be Dave Sedor. Uh-oh, look out. Sedor's in. He sets up, and he shoots in just wide. And I think uh, good job there as Chris Ryan came out, cut the angle down. Boy, Sedor was in. And he had five goals against Yacht the other night. We got a break there as it went wide. He was right in alone. It was one-on-one -on -one and a nice job by Ryan. Saw his mom here earlier tonight. Uh, Mary taking the action in. Senior year for this young guy. No score, 36-17. If I can remember him uh, down at rec center in 6th, uh, 7th grade. Boy, the time does fly. LH retreating. Good work right there by uh, Klingen to clear it up. Jesse Klingen, number 7, up ahead. Ball taken back by Bell Vernon. Nice lead feed left side on the long run. Here comes Midlick. Looking to the middle, nice feed inside, and it's loose out in front. Polito a shot in the score, and I think it was Pickens. Polito was there, but I believe it was Pickens, and a nice job by... by number three, Jeff Pickens. A good job by Midlick to get it there. Midlick set it up with a pretty pass to the middle, 
and it got free. Polito was closing on it, but Jeff Pickens makes it a one nothing ball game. Nice to see Billy Constantine here. Billy Sr., his son, of course, uh, four-year player down at Uniontown, who uh, I believe is at Bethany right now. Good to see Billy Fine, high school wrestling official. So LH draws first, blood strikes early, leads it one to nothing. That'll make uh, Fran Lemansky breathe a little easier. That first goal is always a key one. Here's Bell Vernon attacking. Far side it goes, and Mike Scott will clear. Up ahead now, get it there to Jesse Klingon, number seven. Here's Radcliffe. Radcliffe, nice little poke up ahead. Here comes LH with Polito on a break. Nice pass to Dieter. Dieter trying to work it to the middle, and he's bumped off of it. Good play, Bell Vernon. Trying to get to it now for Bell Vernon. That's John Caricus. Caricus, rather, number 22. LH advancing again. Davis, nice pass through the middle, trying to close Polito. It's loose. He shoots, and a nice save by Jimmy Fowler. Good work by LH again. And they should uh, get possession on a corner kick here, I believe. Laying it down on that far side, Colin Monahan. Boy, good chance there, and a nice job by Fowler. Slices it right into the middle. It's loose out in front, and here comes LH trying to get to it. Davis in a foot race. Dieter battling hard, and it's out of play. Bell Vernon, I believe, will throw it in. One nothing. LH leads it. We're early on in the first half. Dieter Davis, one of the strikers out there along with Midlick. Ball tossed up ahead, and there's Joseph Misniak to make the play. Get it into Radcliffe, and no, it will be, I believe, Bell Vernon to sideline toss it in, and that's Matt Long. Long to inbound it, intercepted by LH, no. Good hustling effort that time by Colin Monahan. They'll lay it down, and here's the pass up ahead. Radcliffe goes for the interception. Scott clears it. Get it up ahead, and good work by Bell Vernon as Keith Revac, the senior, makes the play, and LH will get it on the whistle. Get it ahead now to Jesse Klingen. Klingen, nice uh, long kick up ahead. Move it towards Midlick. Midlick, pretty touch pass left side to the wing. Here's Pickens with it. Pickens, nice feed. LH moving the ball much better this year from what we've seen. Pass to the middle. Try to get it to Polito. Smothered out of there. And a nice job by Mike Pastor to clear on the right side. LH leads it one to nothing. Straight to the middle. And there's Fowler coming out of the keeper. Box and he'll clear with a long booming kick out beyond midfield. 33.08 to go. LH leads it one nothing. Left side with it. Now that's Jesse Klingen. Klingen. Good footwork to the middle. Good run up by LH and taken back immediately by Bell Vernon. I believe that's uh, Mike Pastor. Move it up ahead. Bell Vernon controlling it right now. That's Dave Cedor. Cedor with the long advance up ahead and coming out just in time as he had some heat coming. Is Chris Ryan. Chris, big kick out towards midfield. Midlick with a nice save. No, did not quite save it. Keith Revac out near midfield for uh, Bell Vernon, and he'll close on it right now. Good work by Revac. Gets it back. A little tough to read some of the Bell Vernon numbers coming with Barry. Much better than in the past, but still, I think we're a lot more used to uh, LH. There's Caricus, or Caricus, rather. Cedor over to his brother. It's out in front, and Ryan comes out. I'll tell you, nice work by Cedor to Cedor. It was Mike Cedor, the uh, freshman. A pretty soft pass to his brother. And they've had two good opportunities. Nothing to show for it yet. Ball headed out of bounds. It should go to LH. 31-56 on a running clock. LH on top by the count of one to nothing. Far side. Trying to get after. That's Caracas, number 22. Move it up ahead here is Revac. LH in a foot race now. Dieter trying to get to it. Good work right there. Dieter moving it to the right side. Tries to center it and can't. Joseph's Body Shop of Uniontown is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of tonight's Laurel Highlands High School Soccer Match. Owner Joseph Misniak offers expert collision and repair services and full auto painting services for minor touch-ups to a full body paint job. Located just three miles north of Uniontown, right along Route 51, 
Joseph's offers free estimates and works with all insurance claims. For more information, call Joseph at 438-4401 or 437-7377. LH leads it one to nothing at the 3056 mark, and Bell Vernon in control. Move it over here to the right side. That's Matt Long. Uh oh, C doors loose. He's got his brother ahead. Little poke into the middle. LH coming after it. Good job by Radcliffe to clear. Pickens retreats and gets it ahead for LH. Tries to go to Dieter Davis. Headed into the offensive end. C door left wing. Keeps it on the floor. Sliding tackle. Missed that time by Klingen. Cedor puts it in front to the middle, looking for his brother, far side, trying to get to it, LH. Good run up here, I think uh, that might be Scott Viznich, number nine, at the 30-18 mark. Little poke right side, Palermo clearing it out of there. Good work by LH, they get it up towards Davis, but now the momentum appears to have swung Bell Vernon's way as they're controlling the flow right now. Adam Clymer goes for it, sideline toss in, they'll get it to Cedor. He's battling Palermo. Palermo, nice job, pokes it out of play. This will be a corner kick for the Leps. What do we got? We got a whistle, a couple of subs coming in. Into the game for Laurel Allen. Nate Baccarat. Nate Baccarat. And 34, and Luke, 34 Turco. Luke Turco. Turco, Into a junior. The game for Bell is and Baccarat, a junior. Number 16, Chris Visnich. Visnich. And number 44, Reed Exley. And Reed Exley checks in. Viznich is the uh, kicker on the football team. And I tell you, he's a fine, fine player. The only problem that uh, Coach uh, Joe Anders has is getting him to as many practices as he needs. He's got to share him with the football program and told me he's a heck of a talented kid. And Bell Vernon with an outstanding football program. They're off and running again with a big win last week. Here's Davis now, left side. Looking up ahead, that's Turco, 34. Get it to the middle. Midlick with it. Boy, he's a nice passer. Midlick, hard shot, and a nice save by Jimmy Fowler. For LH, number 32, Stephen Midlick. It goes out towards midfield. Jesse Klingen heads it ahead. Pickens with it now. Over here on the far side, number 34, Luke Turco. LH gets it to the middle, intercepted. No, with it is Davis. Davis walking in. Davis with the shot, just over. Good work by Dieter. Tough shot, but he worked it around and just got too much on it. So LH leads it one to nothing. We've played uh, just about 12 minutes in. When we say 40 minutes, that's normally 40 minutes of running clock because that clock only stops charge timeouts, injuries, and of course a goal. We hope it stops many times here tonight for LH, and they lead it one to nothing. Up the middle comes Pickens. He's the guy that has the goal. Pretty pass to the middle. Dieter with it, and a nice save by Fowlers. He came out. Here's Radcliffe. Good work by LH. You're passing the ball real well, getting it to the middle. Nice hustling job there by Colin Monahan. Try and set that defense for you. That's Scott back here for Klingen. Palermo and Radcliffe out at uh, midfield right now. We've got Nate Bacharach, number nine. He's the junior. Clock is still running as they set this one up. Out towards midfield, Midlick with the interception. Bell Vernon controls. Out of there with it comes Long. Poke it up ahead. I think this is Cedor. It is the youngster, the freshman. Scott, nice play. Intercepts. Drops it back, but there's Chris Viznich. Good move by Viznich. He's got some talent. No question about it. Works it up on the left side. Goes right uh, through. Is that nine or eight? Scott Viznich. There might be two Visniches out there right now. Okay, there is. That's Scott, number nine. Boy, tough number to read. And Val Vernon will clear. Get it up, I believe this is Cedor. Once he gets in that attack zone, you're pretty safe to say Cedor, I can tell you that right now. Here's Reed Exley on a run up. Here's Cedor walking in. He shoots just over the goal. Oh, my. I'll tell you, he has had three good opportunities. And this one comes at the 26 and a half minute mark. One nothing score. Now, let's see what they're going to call. Going to put it down in the corner for a corner kick. Melvern, uh, if you've got a right-footed kicker, which they do right here, Mike Cedor will try and hook this 
right in. There's the run up. Boy, he put it right out in front, and it's loose. There's the shot, smothered in front by Ryan. Still loose, and LH dodges a bullet, maybe. Viznich in there with it. Now we got a whistle. Whoo! What do we got now? A direct coming, and look out here. Bell Vernon lays it down from just outside the goal box. Who's uh, out there right now? It's Mike Pastor, five, and I think that might be 33. That's Matt Long, so let's see which one runs up on it. It's a direct. And the shot, no, they lay it for number 33, Long, and it's tipped out by the LH defense. So LH will surrender it again. This will be a corner kick. It'll come from the far side, and Mike Cedor will lay this one down. And let's see if, now the right foot from this angle is going to hook the ball in away from the goal, unless he can lay it down with the left foot. Now he's going to kick it up right foot, and there it is. As I said, he hooks away from the goal. It's headed by Cedor just wide. Number seven, Dave Cedor just wide with the header. We've got a one nothing uh, LH lead. The goal coming, Jeff Pickens at the 35 We're 40 mark. To the lineup for Laurel Highlands, number 24, Adam Clymer. Climber also going in. Number 20, Kalen Polito. Kalen Polito for LH. Victor M. Fiano, CFP Certified Financial Planner, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of this evening's Laurel Highlands High School Soccer Game. Raymond James, Financial Services of Uniontown, is a member of NASD and SIPC, and they are located at 84 East Main Street here in Uniontown. Mr. Fiano and his professional staff, they offer a full range of financial investment opportunities featuring stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and retirement plans. For more information, call Victor M. Fiano at 438-9755, or better yet, stop by at their location, 84 East Main Street here in Uniontown. Trying to keep our eye on the action as uh, we go to the 24.05 mark. We're tied at one. want to thank uh, Mr. Fianna. Had a nice chat with him and talking about uh, his young son who's playing here tonight and also got a young one in sixth grade up at Hatfield. And he said that's a fine group of athletes at Hatfield in that sixth, seventh grade uh, age group. Good hustle by Davis. Back it comes out of play and LH will get it. At the 23:41 mark, we're almost halfway through the first half. I think in years gone by, as Polito takes it for LH, they play 20-minute quarters, and about three years ago went to 40 minutes. And boy, I tell you, it seems to make the flow much better. Here's Davis laying it down. Now, if Dieter gets a corner kick out of this, or is he going to give way? A lot of guys have the skill of being able to hook the ball, and Colin Monahan is the guy okay just gonna lay it down for Davis here's Davis walking in the shot smothered in front loose cleared out of there by the keeper up the Cedor here comes the attack machine Cedor and Cedor at the 2301 mark cleared by uh, Palermo back it comes advancing is Cedor bumped off of it Cedor's got it moves out in front Tries to go to the right side to uh, Caracas. You called in the press box. We're on TV right now. 22-44 to go. One nothing ball game. LH leads it as we approach the midway point of the first half. Pretty nice turnout on hand. Uh, talking with Joe Anders. This has been a good rivalry through the years. Joe has been with the program, I believe, 17 years now. Fran has coached against him for 13, and we have had some. Uh, Interesting games, some physical games, some outstanding games. I remember the game Jason Bowers uh, when LH got clinched a playoff berth down at Bell Vernon. Outstanding effort. And this has always been a good rivalry game. Retreating back after. That's Mike Pastor. Move it up ahead. Still a little trouble seeing the numbers. BJ Malilli clearing it out. LH with it. I think it was Polito retreating back after. It comes Chris Viznich. Viznich. Davis goes for the steal. Can't get it. Ball bumped and out of play. No, good job by LH's Colin Monahan. Back to Radcliffe. He lost it. Poked ahead. Here's Scott. Look out. Cedor moving in. Bump. No call. LH good defense that time by Radcliffe. Long kick. We'll get it up now towards Midlick. Midlick puts the brakes on and out of play it goes at the 21:30 mark. Also want to thank uh, the 1998, 99 rather, Laurel Highlands High School soccer boosters and we get more information on them. I want to thank Dale Davis and Trudy Davis, our uh, points of contact this year in dealing with the boosters. Here's LH, nice poke, 
ahead now for uh, Midlick, and this one will hit the flag, and LH will get the corner kick in. Davis trying to put it on the wing to Midlick, and Midlick uh, stayed back and stayed the onside, but just could not quite catch up with it. one nothing, 20.55 to go. We're right at the midway point, so LH with Colin going to hook this one in. Now watch this. He'll try and hook it. There it comes, right toward the middle, headed by Midlick. No. Good clearing job by the uh, Leopards and out of play. This one should go off of Cedar and LH should inbound it. They do immediately. Get it out here to Scott. Scott has his shot smothered. I think Caracas was the guy who got to it. Here comes Bell Vernon attacking. Here's Cedor, run up by Palermo and Scott pokes it. Nice pass ahead. Here comes LH moving it up the far side. That's Luke Turco. Into the middle, LH attacking again. This will be another corner kick. Let's see if it's Monahan again. 20 minutes and seven seconds to go. LH in this first half leads it one to nothing. And I think uh, across the way, that's Colin laying it down. Midlick will position himself. Polito is right there. Turco is there. The guys back will be Scott uh, Radcliffe. And I believe Palermo, it's out in front, loose. LH trying to get it towards the goal, and Dieter working hard, keeps it alive. Couple of chances there, just couldn't get it to go. Here's Davis looking to center it. He does, puts it out in front. Midlick heads it in. Was that Midlick? Yes. Wow, what a play by the Midlick. Goal by number 32, Steve Midlick. Midlick with the uh, header off the feed from Davis. That's his third, I believe, of the year at the 1931 mark. LH 2 nothing. Boy, Jerry, that's a nice one. It went after these guys tape it to run that one back and take a look at it again. Davis with a pretty feed. Got it right into the middle. Nice work, Dieter. Comes up.